Well, hello. How is everyone doing this evening? I'm Eve with The Baby's Booty. And tonight we are going to work on a sublimation project. Now, this project, I've kind of done one similar to it before, um, but this particular um, instance, I'm using a completely different printer, right? So as many of you guys know, in the past, when I first started doing sublimation, I used the Epson 7710. So the 7710 and the 7720 is basically the same Epson printer. The only difference is the 7710 had one paper tray, whereas the 7720 had two paper trays. Um, but I had the 7710 um, that I converted. Well, due to negligence on my part, I let the printer clog, right? So I was like, ugh. And then I couldn't get it to unclog the last time. It was just like my printer just kind of like waved the white flag. So what we ended up doing was getting a sawgrass printer, which is right there. And I could swing for the little baby one. So I got the small sawgrass, eight and a half by 11. So that's the largest size paper that I can do which under normal circumstances is awesome because I really don't do very many large projects. But the project that we're going to, do, going to do tonight is on a much larger panel. This is an aluminum panel. And this aluminum panel is larger than eight and a half by 11. As a matter of fact, I saw a tape measure and I was going to measure, I need to measure it. So I'll be grabbing a tape measure um, because this is not the only one we'll be working with. We'll also be working with the smaller panels, which the smaller panels will work out absolutely great. But this larger one, I definitely need to do. Um, and then I'm going to do one of these, which are super cool. These are like your street signs that you would kind of sort of see probably nowhere near that big. But, you know, for an inside house decor type thing, this is super cute. And um, actually, this gives me like kids room, Sesame Street street sign vibes you know what i'm saying where like you can do the sesame street looking thingy and the kid's name on there some kind of which way i think that will be super cute but i know it's going to be totally adorbs for what i intend to use it for tonight but as you see this is way larger than 11 inches so i need to measure this and what my um situation tonight is i'm gonna have to figure out how to split up or tile um my images so that I can print them on several pieces of paper and then um, piece them together to go on to the larger blanks. All right. So that's one part of what we're doing tonight. Um, I'm also going to show some um, a really cool thread palette that we got from DIME. For those of you, those of us in here who do embroidery, it's super cute. Um, and let you know about a project coming up this week that I'll be doing with that. Um, it's going to be a video, I think. I don't think I'll go live for that one. I have to figure that part out. Um, and also with the aluminum panels, we are going to use a bit of resin as well. Why would I need to use resin with the aluminum panels? Wait and see. It's actually pretty cool. And I want to thank my dear buddy, 755 Media, for the tip on using some resin with my aluminum panels, even though she didn't know she was giving me that tip, but she did. And so we're going to show you guys how that works and how you can put the best uni resin, the awesomest resin, resin out there, super clear, super awesome. We're going to show you how you can use this even with a sublimation project. So I'm super excited um, to do that with you. You guys, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything right now i've been kind of like not in the best of frame of mind today today hasn't been a good per se day um not that the day itself was but just like mentally it's just been really tough today so um i was debating going live today but i decided you know what sometimes doing a project can put you in a better head space so that's what we're going to do is this project so forgive me if i don't have um all of the right words to say or the right moves to make or the right responses um because today was just one of those type days where i pretty much could stay in bed all day and it would have been all right but i didn't 
Um, and I ain't been long woke up from a nap anyway. So, but at any rate, I want to thank everyone who came in. Baby Giant Services LLC was up in the house, bright and first place. The best uni was next. Hey, honey, I'm excited to have you in here with us as well. EJ's daughter, Miss 143. EJ's daughter is a YouTube Hoop Group member, and I appreciate it. EJ's um, daughter, I also appreciate you being here with us. Miss 143 is also a YouTube Hoop Group member, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much for your support of our channel. And in relation to that, we do have memberships here on the channel. They come with some, some simple perks, but we do have memberships here. You're welcome to take advantage of that if you would like to. Um, you can click the blue join button up under our video, or you can go to our main channel page and there is a join button there beside the subscribe button as well. We also have a Facebook page. Not sure that you guys know that or not, um, but we do have a Facebook page. Um, it's the baby's booty. I think the name of the group is the baby's booty. Um, and our business page is the baby's booty as well on Facebook. So you can look us up either way. And you'll find us and you're welcome to join there. We do give updates, tips, share share the projects that we've been working on um, and the projects each other has been working on and get some good feedback as well as, you know, ask questions if need be. So all of that is available free of charge as well. Um, now to join, there is a fee, but it's to support the channel and we definitely appreciate it to get us cool stuff like this to play with. I'm excited. Oh, gosh. Did I just get something on that? I hope not. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get going with that. I'm going to say hi to a couple more people. DTC Queens. Um, good evening, Craftable Things. Good evening, my dear. Hey, Patrice. Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Deborah Smith. Miss JB is also a YouTube Hoop Group member. Craftable Things is a YouTube Hoop Group member. Thank you very much. Um, Miss JB, thank you very much for that. Uh, Nene is here. Robin Bryan is here. Beverly Smith, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. Um, Trish, Mickey, hi. Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Miss Pressure 412, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Miss Ethel Smith, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. Ashita Solomon, me creatively by Kim. Diana Epps, lady, me from Georgia. Welcome. Mary Brown, welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Diana Epps is handing out hugs and love. Thank you. We appreciate it. PJ Coppage, hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Lila Nelson is a YouTube Who Group member. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. William Walls, Shonda Coleman, Mina Rowe, Nakomi Butler, Lord, Nikomi Butler, Lori Hill, Beverly Lee Creates. Good evening. Thank you all for joining us. Merlinda Lacey. Hey, honey bunny. Thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member. I appreciate it. Jesse Gibson, good evening. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Dimps Designs. Hey, honey. I hope you ain't working. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for joining us. I enjoyed your videos. Been um, stalking your channel. So thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Teresa, Sister Heart Crafts and Things. Thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We appreciate it. Angela, hello. Shirley Dabney, hello. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Uh, Trish Mickey says, so do you like the sawgrass? Trish Mickey, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, 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 I do. I do definitely love the sawgrass. I'm not just saying that, y'all. So I have been, I'm not going to say I've been anti-sawgrass, um, but I, I converted the Epson. The Epson, I think I got the Epson back then. See, this is back when Epson wasn't like the hot thing. It was like starting to be the hot thing. So the Epson was still affordable. And the 7710 at that time, I believe I paid 170 for it, I think is what I paid. Um, not that that's a small amount, but in comparison to the Sawgrass, which if I'm not mistaken, is like six something or other for the eight and a half by 11, whereas the... Um, 7710 can go up to 13 by 19. So that was phenomenal. Like that's a big size. I could do um, one of these, if I'm not mistaken, with the 13 by 19. I'll have to measure again just to be sure. But that's a very large area to be able to sublimate. And it was wonderful to be able to sublimate that large. But the problem is um, you had to convert the printer. Um, and, you know, I tried it with the cartridges 
converting it with just cartridges, that was okay. There was a lot of um, having to re-register the cartridges and all of that jazz that was annoying. But the um, continuous ink supply system, the CISS system I put on it, it worked great for a good while. But the problem is I ended up involved in so many different things that I wasn't able to keep up with my sublimation projects. And so the printer would just sit for days and eventually weeks. And that's not a good thing with sublimation, ink, with any ink, really, any printer. You really shouldn't let printers sit, um, especially like, for instance, the Epson right there below the red um, silhouette. That's a regular ink printer. You know, and if I let that sit too long without printing anything, I end up having to do a head cleaning and blah, 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 blah. So even with just regular printer ink, you really shouldn't be letting printers sit. So that was causing me, you know, some problems, of course. And so um, once I finally just kind of gave it its last straw that broke the camel's back and we ended up with the sawgrass. Man, the sawgrass is cool. Right now, let's see if we can't... Um, get this switched over. Give me a sec. Um, share screen. Let's share this one. So right now on the heat transfer warehouse, which is where I got my printer from, their sawgrass sublimation printer, SG500 is the one that I got with the install kit, is $624. But they offer Afterpay and Klarna. So you have two options to help make it affordable to be able to purchase, you know, the printer by putting it in payments right so this even though it's a smaller printer and the ink is pricey with it don't get it twisted the ink is not inexpensive but i don't have to worry about um you know my inks drying out because the printer has a thing built into it where it constantly runs a cycle within itself it uses some ink, but it runs that cycle within itself to keep my inks flowing, whether I use that printer or not. So it's been a while since I used it. And then I, it had been maybe about two weeks, if not longer, since I had used the printer. And so I came in the other day and I was like going to do this project anyway. Um, and I printed out my picture. Didn't miss a beat. No banding, no, no pixels. I mean, the color was fine. Everything was great. And I love that, you know, and one of the things that I also realized is the inks are vivid. I haven't had any issues with the prints that I've been creating with the sawgrass looking dull, dried out, wrong colors. None of that. I had none of that issue from day one with this printer. Right. So I do love it. I have loved it. Um, and I do see a lot of people have it on. Um, clearance for some reason. I, I don't know why. Um, not clearance. Um, Facebook marketplace. I see a lot of them on sale. So definitely, you know, give it a look. I love it. Um, and it's been a big help to me. Um, and they say that it uses a bunch of ink when it just sits there. Okay. Yeah, it does. But I'd rather it use a bunch of ink than for me to clog up and I have to get a whole nother printer. I'm just saying. So it's been awesome for me, Trish, Mickey. And hopefully if you get a chance to try it out, you'll like it too. Uh, Tanyu, hey, Tanyu, how are you? Welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member and Craftfully Me. Hello, my dear. Welcome. L. Nicole says, I finally got my t-shirts to apply my baby's booty rhinestones. I have tried Flop from Heat Transfer Warehouse and from the rhinestone world, but I'm still having trouble. Oh no, L. Nicole, what machine are you using? What machine are you using to cut the flock? That's what I meant to ask. Um, let me know. And depending upon how things go, we can talk about that um, and see if we can't get you some help in doing the settings. Um, see, Cynthia's good evening. Um, Marissa says, happy Sunday. Thank you. Uh, Taisha Gardner. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. I'm about to burn slap up. Marissa says, I finally opened my rhinestones from the first order waiting on my flock to come this week. That's what's up, girl. And y'all, if you're interested in getting flock, definitely check out Heat Transfer Warehouse. They do have flock and you also can um, get some flock from Be Createful. They have flock as well. I'm actually not going to get into the flock market at this moment in time. So um, definitely go there for some good quality flock. Okay. Sharon Edge Harley. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. 
Teresa's sister heart crash and things says I have a sawgrass still in the box. Goal is to clear spare room out for my craft room office by the end of the month. But I've been working too much to work on it. Girl, I know exactly what you mean. Sometimes we can get so worked up in so many directions pulled here and there that it's difficult to get in and take care of that kind of stuff. So I've been knocking away things a little bit at a time. If I were to pan the camera and let you guys see, like, for instance, I've taken Betty out of the studio. She She's an awesome printer. I love her. I'm keeping her, not getting rid of Betty. Um, but I have not had time to fix her. I haven't. And so to be able to effectively get to my heat press and work on the heat press, she was right there. So it was like difficult for me to get to the heat press. So we've moved her for the time being um, until we get a different space worked out in the house. So we'll keep you guys updated with that once we get a new printing area um, set up. So hopefully that'll be soon. But hopefully, uh, Teresa, you'll be able to get things squared away so that you can get you a space for your sawgrass to put up. Thank you, Diana Epps. I appreciate that. Thank you. Shamika Thomas, hello. Cheryl Tisdale, hello. Welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Sandra Lewis, Joyce Van, Joyce Van Duane, I think. Hello, JV, JV. Let's go there. JV, JV. Hey, honey, I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Laura E., Hello, um, Elaine Dickerson. I think I said hello. Carol Coleman. Hello, honey. How are you? Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Um, let's see. Sharon Davenport is in here temporarily in Central California. Welcome. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate it. Nicole Fryson. Hello. All the wonderful heart hitters in here. Bonita Neely. Hello. <laughs> the best uni. Why is you looking like that? Oh, no. She said hit the hit the like button. Ms. Barbara Bonaparte, hello. Tarina, hello. Welcome. So let's, hey, Jennifer, Ginger, hello. Welcome. Love is, hello. Welcome. Let's go ahead and get into our um, project. Lady Me, the number sawgrass is the, what, what did I just show you guys? 500, I think is what it was. I just showed you on the thing. Yeah, SG 500. It's the eight and a half or the eight inch, eight by 11 thingy. Pamela Bradley White, hello. Lisa Carter, Joanna, hello. Creations by Kay Aisha. Hey, Kenya, welcome. <laughs> Rosalind Gray, Marge Campbell, Bobby, hello. Uh, I want to make sure I'm saying this right. Is it Geo Savvy Designs? Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate that. Ms. Barbara Bonaparte, thank you for being a new member of our channel. Woo! Yes, thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> and if you haven't requested your bill, definitely do so because as a member, you can request a bill and we'll send it out to you. You have to be a YouTube Hoop Group member in order to receive one. So just let us know if you would like to have a bill, if you don't already. Christine McCants, hello. Welcome. Welcome. Um, Trish Mickey says, I understand about cleaning out a room. I have graph tech cutter since Christmas. She hasn't used yet. It's a lot. It's funny. How many people in the chat has a piece of equipment that they haven't even used yet is sitting there waiting to be used? If you have a um, piece of equipment, go ahead and throw up a thumbs up in the chat or say me if that's you, um, because it's crazy how many folks they just get so busy that they don't have the time or the space to be able to use a new piece of equipment but we always get it anyway right because <laughs> we don't we know we're going to eventually use it well hopefully we'll be getting uh using those who have these saw grass hopefully we'll get you guys up and on that saw grass soon l nicole says using the silhouette cameo four it seems to be cutting okay because it's going even through the paper on the back but i can't seem to get the rhinestones to stay in the holes when i brush them okay that's a different problem that's a different problem. So the thing with that is usually if you're brushing the holes and they won't brushing the stones and they won't stay in the holes, then nine times out of 10, your holes are either too small. Usually it's too small. Even if it's too big, the holes will brush in. But too small, they will not brush into those holes. I don't care what you do. So where are you getting your templates from? That's what I would like to know next. Um, and how, what, are you making them yourself or 
where the template is coming from, because we definitely would need to make sure that whatever template it is that you're using, that you um, make sure that the holes are the right size. Sheila Cushionberry, honey, I wasn't going to. I promise I wasn't. But I decided at the last minute that I was going to go ahead and go on. Hey, Sean A. Okay, cool beans. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. Um. All right. Big laser, sawgrass 400. Hey, Bailey. Welcome, Bailey. I appreciate you joining us with you. Grandma, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Bean Pam B. Hey, honey. Jackie Maddox has one. Um, is free at the midnight tomorrow. <laughs> okay, Aliana, I appreciate it. Brand new embroidery machine. Miss Crafty Creation says in the box. Cricket, Joanna Holmes. Hat press still in the box. Yeah, y'all. Shonda Coleman, Miss 143. I'm trying to tell you. Serger, Craftable Thing says. It's it's all of us. We all do it and we all have had that issue. So definitely um, check everything out and hopefully we can take our time and get to some of these pieces of equipment. Right. Haven't used that Cricut mug press yet. Oh, no, that Cricut mug press is fun. <laughs> hey, Shirley Scott. So, y'all, let's get started. Um, a couple of things first before we get in on to Sawgrass and our sublimation project. Um Number one, I wanted to show this really cool um, thread collection that we got from DIME. Um, it is a 24 color summer thread kit and it's really pretty. Um, we got some really cute colors and we have a really fun project coming up this week, you guys, for this thread. And look, they even have some of these neon colors like we do with our rhinestones. So I don't know if the project that I'm going to work on this week can work with the rhinestones or not. I don't think they can. I'm sure there's a way to make it work. But for right now, um, I wanted to show this to you guys, the witcher appetite for what we got coming this week. I'm super excited about that. So look for an embroidery project. Lord willing, in the creek don't rise. And we'll work on um, something really fun. I mean, it's actually very fun. I kind of hate we didn't do it last week because it's on sale right now. They're on sale right now. but um, I wasn't able to get to it. So, but her prices are so affordable, even when they're not on sale, it's amazing. And I may show it to you guys before we get off so that you can at least take advantage of the prices right now, because I think they're still on sale, even though technically they're not supposed to be. All right. So the other thing is I wanted to uh, make sure that everyone got the newsletter. Did you get your newsletter? If you're signed up for the buy-in newsletter, you should have your newsletter. It went out this morning. Um, if you did not get the newsletter now, notice I'm not saying, did you receive the newsletter? I'm asking, did you get the newsletter? Because even if the newsletter is not in your email inbox or in your email junk folder, the newsletter was posted here on YouTube in the community tab. And it was also posted in the Facebook group. Now, for some of you, you may not know about the YouTube community tab, because there's a lot of times folks aren't aware that there is a community tab on YouTube. So let's see if we can show you um, what the community tab is. So let's go here. Give me one sec. Dot com slash. That's what I need to do. Let's go to our web page. All right. And I'm going to share my screen here and as you see this is our youtube page here right and right here under our banner beside our uh channel name is the join button this is where it is and the website is youtube.com the bait slash the baby's booty charlotte now i'm going to copy and paste this in the chat so that you can just click that link if you want to come here um but this is our main page to our channel and it's join. Um, and for me, I say customize channel manage videos because this is my channel. So that I, those are my buttons. But beside join would normally be subscribe. OK, for you. So definitely join if you would like to. And here's where you would subscribe if you're not already. And it's showing that we're live right now. Hi to myself. Um, but notice right here under our channel name, it says home videos, which shows all of the videos that we've posted playlists. I do have playlists 
of different videos, right? So I have um, a rhinestone playlist. I have a sublimation station playlist, embroidery how-to playlist, and Sew What Pro tutorials. So if you're ever interested in either just Sew What Pro or just embroidery videos or just rhinestone videos, check out a playlist, all right? A lot of channels have playlists. And then we have a community tab. This is the community tab right here, okay? So there's a community tab right here under our channel name. So that's where you can go and get updates and things like that on uh, what we got going on. And that's where I will also post newsletters, all right? So for those who say, I didn't get a newsletter in my email, I signed up for the newsletter, I can't. I can't control you getting your emails. I, I can send them, but your email server has to put it in your inbox or help you find it or whatever. I don't know what the problem is, honestly. And because I'm not tech savvy to that extreme, I can't help you find it. But what I can do is post it somewhere where you can go get it yourself if you want to. You don't even have to sign up for a newsletter if you don't want to. As long as you're subscribed to this channel and you keep a, an eye on this community tab, you'll get the newsletter because I'll post it here as well, okay? So I want to let you know that. And if you did not get the newsletter, it's a pretty big announcement in the newsletter, and we're going to go over that as well. Big Boy Prince, I see you throwing up Super Chats. We really appreciate it. We miss you here, and I'm so happy to see you, and I hope everything's been going good. But hey, Big Boy! Yes! Thank you, Big Boy Prince. We appreciate it. <laughs> with that ink that's the whitest little white we appreciate you sir thank you so much for stopping by and showing us some financial support love here on our channel we definitely appreciate all of that so definitely um check out that newsletter because we have a new website eh, i don't know what are you what are you thinking <laughs> so let me show you what we have okay so let's share screen and where the heck does it say join it should be on the um if you click the link that i put in the chat it should take you to our main channel and the join button should be right there under our youtube banner if you're on a computer check it out on a computer maybe sometimes stuff don't show up on the phone you know sometimes it doesn't i don't know why um but try a computer and see if it pulls up there um uh, but here you go we we have this now so if you normally would go to the babiesbooty.com for purchasing the buy-in, uh, taking advantage of the buy-in and joining and purchasing your rhinestones. But now we have the babiesbooty.store. So instead of the babiesbooty.com, you will go to the babiesbooty.store as you see up here. And this is all, anything that you can purchase from the baby's booty will eventually be here on this website. So this will be our new store shopping location. Okay. So if you want to purchase, this is where you will come. Um, and it, we, we kept it as simple as we possibly could. And hopefully this will eliminate some of those login issues that some people have been having. So now when you click on store, It'll take you right on into our same store that you saw before. It's technically it's the same thing. It's just we moved it to a different um, to its original hosting area. All right. And so we have our treasure trolls coming. They're listed, even though they're not uh, live yet. But we got our space for the treasure trolls. So that's coming this buy in. But notice right here, my account and track orders and favorites and shopping bag. Okay. So hopefully we can get rid of some of those kinks that we've been dealing with. If you are still getting kinks when you log in or anything like that, let us know. Just shoot us a screenshot so that we can get that over to tech support and try and get that worked out for you. But now you can just click here on my account. You can track orders. You can do favorites. Matter of fact, if you click on my account, um, and you make a purchase, you will automatically have an account created for you, whether you wanted it to be there or not, because we wanted to make sure that there's a way to track your orders. OK, so use the same email address that you made your purchase with to find your orders. OK, now some folks have used two different email addresses. That's not going to really help you 
um, to a certain degree if you're using two different email addresses because one purchase um, in one instance, one purchase was under one email address and the other purchase was under that email address and the person was trying to find all of their orders. And when I looked up by name, it showed two different email addresses. That's not going to help you. So try to keep it under one email address. Make sure you use your full name instead of just partial names and stuff like that. Make it easier on your, on yourself. Please make it easier on you because it's not going to be harder on me. It's going to be harder on you because you're going to want to see your orders and stuff and not be able to find them. Um, so just definitely, you know, be complete with your information. I'm not selling your information or anything like that. Um, so just keep your stuff in there so that you can find your orders and keep track. And then whenever uh, a change is made to your order, it should notify you that a change has been made. So it can go from a waiting processing, which everybody is right now, to uh, processing or something like that, I think is what it says. Um, and then to shipping. So you'll be able to see somewhat the process as it goes along. Right now, we haven't started shipping out anything as of yet because all rhinestones are not here. And we we kind of want to make sure that the majority of what we need to process orders is here in-house before we start working because it's kind of productive to start anything if I can't fill the order completely. So we'll be on that this week. Hopefully we'll be able to start cranking orders out again. We'll see how it goes and I'll keep you updated. That's for sure. Trish, Mickey, you found the join button, honey. Thank you for joining our channel. Woo! Yas, honey. Welcome. That's what's up, girl. And like I said, you can go to our website. Now, the babiesbooty.store is where you will um, purchase stuff. But if you want to get a bell go to thebabiesbooty.com and when you go to thebabiesbooty.com that's where you can request a bill okay so let's show you that as well real quick if you go to thebabiesbooty.com notice right here on the main screen that pulls up look at the bell it's super cute with McQuackens on there just click on bell request and put in your membership information so in this instance if Trish Mickey, our new member, wanted to get a bell. She would just put her first name, last name, her email address. And right here where it says YouTube username, she would put Trish Mickey because that's her YouTube username, right? So she would put that there, then her address so that I'll know where to send the bell to. And she can, you know, select some of that other stuff. She doesn't have to subscribe, but she can and blah, blah, blah. All right. So that's how you would request a bell if you're a member here on the channel. All right. So. Let's get into our project because I think that was all of the announcements that I had. Um, the new website is the main thing because I, I know there were a lot of um, issues with trying to stay to get logged in and to see orders and all of that jazz. So I've been assured by tech support that this would be a nice change that will help with um, eliminating a lot of those problems. OK, so we'll see how it goes because the next buy in seven days away y'all it's seven days away so definitely keep that in mind so let's see if we can't pull up um our i like to work in photoshop so i'm going to go ahead and pull up photoshop it's gonna take me a minute because i had to remember where everything is now actually i do prefer to work in illustrator but because this particular project that uh, see i can't can't speak properly. This particular project is in um, is pictures. I want to do it in Photoshop. Okay, so let's go ahead and share my Photoshop. All right, so we're going to what is this cloud? Okay, so we're going to do a new file. All right, and with this new file, um we will figure out what size. Okay, so my um, sawgrass would be eight and a half by 11, but eight and a half by 11 is too small for this aluminum panel and this long street sign aluminum panel, right? And I still haven't gotten a tape measure so that I can um, go ahead and measure what this is. Let me see if I can find a tape measure really quick um 
usually I have one or two right here, but I've been measuring so much stuff lately that I have. Oh, you know what? Let's see if this works. Give me a second, y'all. Sorry to be standing up all in. Oh, here we go. That works. Thank you, all stitch. All stitch to the rescue. Okay, so let's get our handy dandy tape measure. And we are going to measure this aluminum panel. And the aluminum panel is just under. So I have it all the way at the top to the zero. I don't know how well you can see that because it's so dark right up in there. Is the light on? You know, both lights are on. So it's all the way up to the zero and we come all the way down. And as you see, it's like just before 12 inches, just shy of 12 inches. Now, remember, a normal sheet of paper is eight and a half by 11. And I really don't want white space all the way around my image. And there's a scratch on this panel that sucks. I'm not going to be able to use this one. I mean, I can still use it, but whatever. Um, so this way we've got just before 12. So I'm going to say 11 by three quarters. Let me look and see if that's good enough. No, it's actually longer than 11 by three quarters, y'all. And because I'm not a mathematician, I'm not 100% sure what that is, but we'll figure it out. Actually, let's do it this way. I'm going to do millimeters, centimeters rather, because that's so much easier. Um, so this is 30, 30 centimeters. All right. So we got 30 centimeters by 20, 30 by 20. And if I were to flip that over, it's not quite eight inches, but we're going to go with 30 by 20. And I'm going to write that down because I know me, I'll forget what that is. So 30 by 20 or what that was. So, and then this one here is, let's see if this one is in inches or if it's in millimeters as well. Okay, so this one is 18 inches by four inches. Okay, so that's way bigger. So the 13 by 19, I would have been able to do one sheet and do my print on this one, but that's not going to work in this instance. So what do we say? 18 by four inches. Okay. So now that I have that written down, let's go back to our um, um, Photoshop. All right. And so what I'm going to do, notice here uh, when you, okay, let me close this out. All right. So don't pay no attention to that horrible look. As a matter of fact, let's view. That way you can't see it. All right. So let's go to new file. So when we, I mean, y'all look, I don't got old wrinkles all over. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's so sad. Anyways, new file. So let's go new file. When that opens up, we have preset um, sizes there that we can choose, or we can create our own over here, create our own preset. And that's what I generally do because I, don't, I, I can't figure out how to get to the other presets or whatever. So notice this one says pixels. So if we click that drop down button and we can choose inches, pixels, centimeters, millimeters, points, or picas, which I don't even know what that is. So we're going to go with centimeters because the aluminum panel, we already know that's 30 by 20. So let's go here and we're going to put 30. No, that was 20 wide. And then, or wait a minute. Not the way I'm going to put it. So the way I'm going to put it is landscape. So I'm going to go with 30 wide and I'm going to put 20 high. Okay. And it automatically did my landscape orientation. Um, 300 pixels per inch is a really excellent resolution. White background is great. And I'm going to hit create. Okay. So now that we have our blank, uh, we're at 33 percent view i think let's do let's see if this works control yep okay so control minus zooms out for me and give me one sec y'all because i don't i need to shoot this email over really quickly it won't take me but a moment i'm sorry 
copy and paste that. I grab this and then paste that. All right. So now that we have our blank, let me show you what I was trying to do. So let's go to file and then I'm going to place embedded. Where did you get the embroidery bun bobbin bundle from again? Um, D I M E. Let me see if I can't designs and machine embroidery. And let's go there. I do have a link. I don't know what it is, y'all. I'm sorry. A personal affiliate link, but I'm not worried about it because they have really good products. And whether there's kickback or not, you know, no worries. Okay. There's the link for the thread, the summer thread kit. Okay. Um, so here is my, here are my files. And we're going to go to, I think I put it on my desktop. I did. Okay. So not sure which picture I'm going to use just yet. Cause you know, like this one, I love the picture. It's a little lovey dovey. You know what I'm saying? A little bit lovey dovey. But then I also have this one. Let's go. Let's X that out and let's go to place embedded again. And then do this one where we're sitting like a normal couple. I actually like this one better personally, but at any rate. So here's um, a picture that I want to use on this aluminum panel. Okay. So this, as I mentioned, is 30 by 20, but that's way bigger than what I can print. So let me go to file and see if we can't figure this out because I should be able to tile this some kind of way um because see look the sawgrass is already set up for the sawgrass it already knows my sawgrass is not going to print that size so let's go to print settings actually I need to do layout hold on let's do cancel um and let's go okay landscape and notice this gray area around here. So I'm already going to lose some print space because um, sawgrass is not edge to edge from what I understand. So, you know, by tiling this, it should help if I can tile. I don't know that I can. So let's see. Um, and if anybody does know how to tile, holler at me because I don't know. But at any rate, this is this is all new for me in using the sawgrass because I've never done a project bigger than the eight and a half by 11. Okay. So one, two on one. What is this? Factory default. One, two. I don't know what that is. Two pages printed on one side. No, I do not want that. Okay. Print on. Nope. Document size. So I may have to tile it in. I don't know that I can, but I may have to try and figure how to tile it in Photoshop. Reduce, enlarge. Mm -hmm. Output settings. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, they got all kind of cool stuff you can do. Did not know that. All right, maintenance. Nope. We may have to find another. Let's see. Let's cancel this real quick cancel and see if there is a way to tile this position and size scale 
save it as a PDF. Thank you, Kawana. Yeah, we'll do that. Cancel. So let's cancel and let's save. Save as. Get over here. Save on my computer. Let's save on my desktop. Let's save it as PDF. And let's save it as. Oach Swain one no main okay all right kawana thank you very much honey we're gonna give that a shot so i'm gonna click okay i'm gonna do save pdf incompatible with earlier version but open a pdf as a generator do i want to continue eh eh whatever hey 755 all right so now you said go to adobe so let's try that. Let's do all apps. Let's do Adobe Acrobat. Why, why, why do y'all keep opening over there? Okay. So Adobe uh, Acrobat, let us find. Let's go open. What did I say? Desktop. Pull Swain and, and open it. Okay. And you said poster feature. Let's do print sawgrass poster. Shut up. I love you. Okay, so 17 by 11 inches. So it is automatically cutting it for me. Cut marks. I wonder if it gave me cut marks. I don't know. Just bought my first embroidery machine, Brother Persona PRS100. Learned a lot watching the channel. Well, congratulations to Controversial Film. Controver controversial. Films. <laughs> really? Holler! Yes. I don't know why it blanked out like that. I apologize. Um... Congratulations. That is what's up. And hopefully everybody else had their bells out and was ringing with us. I probably should have warned everybody. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything else. Any other questions? I don't see any. All right. So, okay. Hey, Dainty Doer. So this is, what's multiple? That's cool. Okay, so that's multiple on one sheet. So let's see how this works, y'all. I don't know. Um, 17 by 11. Am I doing this right? Who was that again? Hold on. Oh, Kawana. Yeah, Kawana, hopefully I'm doing that right. We're going to try it out because, you know, let's see. Let me see because this was what tall. I was right under eight inches. So technically, let's do properties. Eight and a half by 11. Let's see. Can't hurt. Oh, actually, let me make sure what size this is. This is how, whoops. You know what? This is like really large. So I'm going to back down a little bit. Thank you. Yikes. I give me a size. So I don't know. Whoops, wrong thing. Lord, I'm just doing all the wrong stuff. There we go. All right, so go back to poster, tile scale, overlap. Oh, that's cool. You can overlap by inches. Let's see if it'll do 0.2. Let's see. Labels, I don't need labels. Portrait, landscape. I'm sublimating. So I should mirror technically. But if, if I... I use the sawgrass so oh you know what well no I can't because this isn't I should have mirrored it in Photoshop this is what I should have done before I saved it actually so let me do that because it needs to be mirrored so that 
everyone. So it'll be just like it is with all, it'll match all the other pictures. So let us, let's not rotate, flip. There we go. All right, now I'm going to save it again. I'm going to save it again. Yes, I want to replace it. Okay. Oh, oops. Oh, let's close this out. All right, let's save it again. Yes, I want to replace it. Okay. Now we can go to to join the captains. It's the same thing. Um, but when you click on join, it should give you an option of whether or not you want to, um, which level you want to join as. All right, y'all. So here is now how to do that completely. I don't know right off the top of my head, like how to change. All right. So let's go to open. Let's open this back up. Okay. Now it's inverted the way I wanted it to be. All right. And so now let's try and print it and see if it prints at the right size under poster, because I'm not sure about saving it as whatever it is you know what i'm saying I, i'm probably sounding crazy which is isn't what is this i don't know why it's giving me that option but I'm pretty sure i told it to print poster oh i meant to tell it to overlap but we'll see if it doesn't Why is there a software S2? That doesn't make sense. It should be just a software S1. Oh, there it is. It did send it. All right, so let's see if it prints out the way it's supposed to. It's going at the end of the day. That's pretty much all I want. Now, what I could have done was saved it, right? And then let's see what that looks like. Let's go share, share screen. I'm going to see something, y'all. Give me a sec. Let's play with this for a minute because as I mentioned, I haven't done that yet. So this is the Sawgrass, but here's the Sawgrass print manager software, right? So let me do that and have it open up the Sawgrass print manager software, which is right here. All right, so it tiled it too, looks like. No, it printed, it sent it here as tile because I had it as tile. So let's see. Preserve layout, print manager performs layout jobs. You can mess with the color, you can make it photographic, you can make it vivid, that's really cool. Print to file, material, it is going on metal. Um, high quality mirror. So yeah, and I could uncheck mirror and because it was already mirrored, it would mirror it again. So I don't have to do that with this one, eight and a half by 11. See, I don't think this is going to print at the right size, but I want to see something. I want to see something y'all because I'm experimenting right now. What app are we using? There is two pages. Yeah, I know it's two pages, but I wanted to make sure that it is um, going to be the 30 by 20, even though it's printing out on two pages. So we're going to see. Um, this is Adobe um, Acrobat. So let's go here. And I'm also going to save this as a... Sorry, not save as export. Let 
Okay, so let's take that. Um, there we go. Now let's export this, export as. This is pixels. I don't want pixels, but let's see. PNG. Let's export this. Oh, swing desktop. And I'm going to see something. I got a lot of heavy duty. Um, hey, Sandy, the PJ mommy. How are you? Welcome. <laughs> I have a lot of programs running in the background, y'all. And my printer is back there like, bro, you need to give me some of that memory. I'm going to close this out real quick. It's not been saved completely because the current file format does not support all of the features of your document. Um, no. Mm -mm. And I'm going to close this out for the time being. Okay. So. Yeah, this is Sawgrass right here. And 755, I love the video of you working with it up. That was awesome sauce. So definitely wanted to. We sat and watched that and had a ball. This is not Creative Studio, so let me close that out. Where is Sawgrass? That's all I'm looking for. Sawgrass. Can you tell I don't really, I haven't, I haven't been using it much. Print Manager. There we go. All right. And I want y'all to see the other thing I was doing with the, the sign, the street sign. We got to do that too. There we go. Okay, so we did both of them. Let's grab them off of the printer. It took it a minute because of the um, large size of the file. Okay. Not because of the large size of the file, because it's, um, I'm running a bunch of stuff in the background. Okay, so here is the photo and it printed um, where I can overlap it. And this is what I wanted to double check and make sure. And yes, Kawana, come through Kawana, come through. What? Helping a helper out like that. That's what's up. So let us switch over to this right one. Nope, not the right one. This one, yay. Okay, so as you see, I already had been trying to print this thing out and get this thing to work. And I was like, bruh, I've got to get this to be the right size. And it wasn't. So here's a panel. I'm going to get another one because that one is scratched, actually. So here are my panels. And I got these off of Amazon, which is why they are, um, I don't want to say the wrong size. Uh, because it's not that it's the wrong size, but it is um, in metric. And most of the things in the States are going to be in inches. So if you order it from, um, say, for instance, if you order it from, um, golly, y'all, me and my words tonight. If you order it from, Col not uh, Cold Desi, Dietrans, Di Di whatever. Order it from a U.S. company is not going to be in metric. It's going to be in inches. So just like my street sign, it is in inches, not in metric. I mean, of course, it's both, but you know what I'm trying to say. I hope anyways that I sounded like a nut. Okay. So I'm going to trim this. Actually, I'm going to cut the heat press on. Oh, heat press is already on. Uh, let's see, because it's on 350 and that's the wrong temperature. Why is it going? 
Hold on, y'all. Uh, it's 348. Let's do this, because I need you to act like you got some sense. Okay, so. There we go. Thank you for cooperating. Okay. And then this is going to be... I don't want to do... Okay. All right, so we got our heat press uh, going. I'm going to grab my um, handle so that I don't re-injure myself. And I'm going to trim this off to make it a little bit easier for me to put on the aluminum panel and to line it up so that I can do bigger, okay? So let me cut this. And I moved it. What am I supposed to move it? And that's the cool the, the thing with sublimation. The print looks. Did I cut crooked? Yes. Yes, I did. Um, the print looks lighter and washed out, but once we actually um go to press this on to the um, aluminum panel, the heat makes the picture become vibrant. Okay. So for those of you who are, um, joining us tonight and you're not super familiar with sublimation, you might say, oh my gosh, that looks horrible. That's not going to be cute, you know, but you got to let the true sublimation colors, uh, come out once we press it um with the 400 right well i actually usually sublimate at about 385 but once you sublimate at that heat and get the color to pop okay all right and so here is one part of it and boom look at that oh my god this is super cute. Now I'm going to leave this white lip there so that I can um, have something to take the paper, the pictures together. All right. So let's trim this. Now you don't have to do all this trimming. I'm just, you know, being extra right now. So let's trim that, then let's trim this. And of course, I probably, let's see. Oh, I do have some tape right here. I didn't think. Now, actually, I'm going to use heat, heat tape. I can't use regular tape. I was about to mess up and use regular tape. And you can't because... Regular tape will melt, all right, in the heat press, especially under temperature that high. So, let's get this. And we're going to line this up just so. All right, and there's... Barely some space down here because I, I should have left some white space up there, but I didn't. Barely, barely, barely white space there. Let's see, did that work? It probably didn't, y'all. Actually, you know what? This is what I'm about to do. I'm about to do this. Give me a sec. Hopefully that won't mess up my surface. All right, now I'm come back here and tape it together. So I just did that little bit of tape on the front to hold it in position. And now I'm gonna come back and take this off because I don't want it to um, cover up my sublimation ink. All right, 
boom so here is my image ready for the panel and this one has a scratch on it so i'm gonna skip that one so now i grab another one these um scratched up really easily so they're thick though i should have got them from um the fine folks over there at um oh wait a minute it might not have scratched as bad as i thought because there's a coating there's plastic on it so give me a second let me grab this off so there may not have been a scratch after all it could have just been on the top sheet all right sorry aluminum panel i'm laying you out and you out here like it wasn't me okay so, trying to get a good feel for the back, but this is the front. Let me see on this side. Yeah, it looks like it's still maybe a smidge too small but i'm not super worried about it for the most part i just needed to cooperate for the most part there we go yeah so it does need to go all the way to the top all right so i'm going to tape right here and right here and then i'm going to tape over the edge right there and right there like so to hold that in place and then i'm going to do one on the long edge do two rather one at the top and one at the bottom and i'm going to tape it right well, that went crooked hopefully it'll be enough to hold it it should be because it doesn't take much to hold it in place and i'm gonna borrow a page out of the book of my dear friend 755 and i'm going to let you guys know that the emoji bar is open so just go ahead and grab yourself a drink from the emoji bar um, there are plenty of options out there. You can do alcoholic, non-alcoholic. You can do water if you like, but the emoji bar is open. So let's go ahead and add our, um, go ahead and throw out some drinks. They're free. They're on the house tonight. So keep that in mind. And we're going to throw on the, let's go here. There we go. Let us throw on this camera. Where are you? Wrong camera. That camera. All right. So let's add in Tilly. Tilly is hot, smoking hot and ready to go. All right. So... He has a pull-out tray that we are going to cover because we want Tilly to stay nice and, and pristine. So I'm just going to use some, some slick butcher paper for right now, one for the bottom and one for the top, just in case and just because. And I'm actually going to press this photo side down or sublimation paper down, okay? And I'm going to cover it again. Because sublimation ink does, um, I don't want to say evaporate, but it turns into a gas. And that um, liquid or that gas, sorry, ink can get all over the place if you're not careful. So we're going to cover that and we're going to drop this down. And I have it set for roughly 40 seconds. And when this comes off, that sucker is going to be hot, 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 hot. Okay. So we're going to let that press. And then back over here, we're going to
straighten up our mess. I'm going to move this because this was the um, largest panel. And then we're going to go to our street sign panel and do that one next. Okay. So clean up our mess. Alrighty. Nice. Thank you, Tilly. Uh-oh. I hope that didn't ghost. Because it looked like it moved. Woo! -hoo! Look at that. That's going to be hot. There's some color banding. I'll check that here in a moment. I was wanting to make sure it didn't ghost on me but that's the aluminum panel let me put this in the trash all right and where are my heat gloves they used to be and they still are so excuse me i'm gonna go back here grab my heat glove and we're gonna take this off and what I'm going to do is a little unconventional because, see, there's a little bit of light banding there. Can you see that? I don't know how well you can see that line there and there. That is hot. I'm going to put it down here on the floor because I have a tile floor. So I'm going to put it on the tile floor and let that cool itself off because when I tell y'all that was smoking hot and see you can kind of see the banding right there i might need to do a print head um cleaning i'm not sure we'll see here in a sec but this is the a sub paper um and they had a a nice deal going on for those who buy the a sub with the baby's booty and i'll have to uh grab that link and put it in the chat but for right now we are going to switch back to our other camera and we're going to work with our um, street sign, okay? Let me cut this fan on first, though, y'all, because I'm, like, about to smoke. Do you hear me? No, why I'm so hot tonight. All right. So, oh, my God. did not realize it was that late. Okay. So, I think this is me, and it is. Hi. So, I'm going to show you what my plans were for the um, street sign thingy that I did, okay? So let me move that out of the way. That is not what I meant to do. And then I'm going to share my screen. So you guys know that I am a huge fan of... Um, Creative Fabrica. Miss JB, thank you so very much for the super chat. Woo! Yes, thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys what I decided to do with Creative Fabrica. Um, as you see, this is Creative Fabrica. Normally, my link is in the description below. It's definitely on um, a lot of our other videos, the link is there. But Creative Fabrica, you can become a Creative Fabrica member um, for a small cost per month. And you have access to all of this cool stuff, man. And see, even if you're not a member, right? Even if you're not a member. Matter of fact, let me, um, let me see. Let's do this. Let's do a incognito browser and we're going to go creative fabrica all right so let's see if it works because sometimes this is supposed to be a private browser that doesn't and it doesn't see i'm not logged in on this particular one and if so even if you don't want to have the membership look at these all of these same things that are on my page that I just showed you as a member, they're on sale. So all of this, you can like, this kitchen conversions bundle is a dollar. You can sublimate all of that. These fonts, uh, this one is a dollar. This one's a dollar. Scripts collection is a dollar. Super 
superhero doodles is 90 cents. The uh, bunny rabbit is 80 cents. Um, rainbow handwritten font, triple magic, regular stitch dot a dollar. You know, all of this stuff is still on this particular page on sale. So definitely check it out. I'll link it in the um, chat. But if you're a member, you don't have to worry about that. If you're a member, all you have to do is come here and say, oh, I like this one. Click it and download it. Okay. So for instance, the font that I decided to use with our project tonight. Um, let me see if I can find it again. There's the Ashley one is this one here country kitchen okay country kitchen and so there's country and then you can use the kitchen right up under it and it turns out to be a really cool duo font meaning two fonts together um and you don't have to think super hard you just type it out and it works right so i've already downloaded this as you see you already downloaded this file it already knows so i have that and that's what we're going to use tonight okay so let me grab um, Photoshop again. I just had it up and then I closed it out. Okay. So we're going to bring over Photoshop and we are now going to do 18 inches by four inches. Okay. So let's do a new file. And this time we're going to do 18, oh, not centimeters, inches. We're going to do 18 inches by four inches. And we're going to create that. Okay, so here's my street sign. All right. Um, matter of fact, actually, let's cancel this out. Let's do new. And instead of 18 by 4, I'm going to do 18. I'm going to do 19. Not 119, 19. And I'm going to do 4.5. I'm going to give myself a little bit extra wiggle room. All right. So um, I already downloaded the font. I don't think I installed it, though. So let me move this and see if I installed it. I don't think I did. So I need to, nope, I did not. I unlocked it, but I didn't install it. So I'm installing the cursive part and now I'm installing the um, regular one. And hopefully it'll show up. So that's country and then country kitchen. So let's go to text. All right. And we're going to do horizontal type text tool. And I'm going to type the word family. Family. All right. And hopefully my font will show up. Being that I just installed it, it may not. Um, so country, I think, is the one that was. There it is, country. That is not country, that's cornet. Um, country. And I'm going to make this, let's go to 72, even though that's still not big enough. Gosh, really? Yes, okay. Oh, here is the word family. There we go. And 72 points. Let's go 100. See how big that is. That's still not big enough for me. Let's go 130. All right, we're going to stick with 130 for right now. Okay. Can y'all see that? Let me make sure you can see all that. Yes. Okay. All right. And so now we're going to grab our text tool again. All right. And now we're going to type swings here. Okay. So let's click there. Let's look there. Hopefully that sounds fine. I just thought about something. Okay, so that's country. Now let's find country kitchen, which is right up under country. And why did that do that? Let's take that, delete that, back up, and go here. 
Okay. And so actually let's increase this one to, let's go 160. Still not big enough. Actually, y'all, I, I thought we got to come up with something a little bit bigger than that. I'm happy to figure, or maybe I'll put some flowers on either side. 160. Let's go 200. That looks pretty big. All right. So the story behind this, I'm not very good at designing and stuff. So I'm just letting you know that now. This is like the most I've designed things. And actually, they have um, alternate letters and stuff that you can use to make it cooler. Um, I mean, I can't see what anybody is saying. So the thing about the port swing and why it even matters is because we... I built that port swing. Um, I've always wanted a port swing. And so I built it. So every every family member or every person that comes, they are obligated to a certain degree to sit on that port swing and take a picture. And so the goal was to, I don't know, y'all. So let me, let me explain this. Okay. So the goal was to have any family or any friends come by, sit on the port swing and take a picture. They're kind of like obligated. And so in the middle was going to be he and I, and then the, the long sign up under our picture and all around our picture was going to be other family members or other people who sat on the port swing and their pictures. Right? So that's the goal. And everybody else's picture will be a little bit smaller but our picture would be the larger one in the middle. And so the reason why I'm breaking that down is because my daughter um, came and um, she and I were sitting, we, we and she and I were on the porch and we were discussing it. And I told her that I wanted to put the sign up under the picture and she says family swings here. And I thought that was cute. I should say swings by here. I think that would be cute. But I wanted to say something and have it I was trying to take up most of the sign, but it doesn't look like that's going to work, y'all. So I'm going to have to add something on either side. So if you got any ideas, let me know. It would be cool to impart um, someone else's ideas as well. Uh, but this is the gist of what I'm trying to uh, say is family. Let's say swings by here. Let's do that one because I think that would be cute. We don't want folks thinking we're swingers because we're not. And that makes it longer. Now that I'm seeing, because I wanted to take up as much of this sign as possible. Um, I wish I could. There we go. It's over here. And I got so much running, y'all. My um, computer is actually acting up. Family and friends swing here. That's cute, too. Picture of a swing. I do have my swing, a picture of it by itself. Um, that I could do that. Oh, you mean right here on the sign. Where would I put it, though? Because oh, it's, it's only four inches tall. Family. Hearts are always nice associated with family. That's true. Family and friends swing by here. I have to take that um, ass off of swings. Come on. Where's my center? There we go. Er, er, there we go. Doop. On the side or background. 
That doesn't look centered now. Let's see. There we go. I wish I could. Let's see. Is there a way to where is my um what's a face to see? I should make that bolder or something. Transform. I'm learning some ex the extra things. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Nah. Now on the type options, that's the wrong thing. Okay. Now I was looking for Oh shut up. Didn't know I could do that. You see what I'm saying? This, this, see, you see what I'm saying? Playing around with stuff, you find stuff out. Do you have any swing clip art? Uh, I do. Uh, no, I don't. I can get it though. Family and friends swing by here. Check us out, y'all. Don't don't play with me. What uni say? Who you know? Who you know? Who you know? Oh, that's what I was wanting earlier. Shut up. Look, y'all. Okay. You see what I'm saying? If you take the time to learn. Now I just need it to center. What do you think? We always love when our families swing by. Shut up, Trish Mickey. Uh, Shut up, Trish Mickey. Oh my God. That's cute too. Mm, 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 mm. Now I don't know which one to do. Because I like them both. And my daughter's going to kick my butt if I don't use the one that she, she came up with. Family and friends, right here. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, hold on, hold on. I can't. Let me, let me. Uh, I may put. I may put We Love When Our Family Swings By below it. And like, I'm going to see if I can't find a smaller um, do flatchy to go up under it. You know what I'm saying? Or put it somewhere else. I, I love that. Oh my God. Let me, let me, I'm going to have to figure out a way. I'm going to put that up on the screen so I can come back and see it again. Cause you know, I'm bad about forgetting stuff. Um. Okay. So let's go back to creative fair. What time is it? 1030. Ooh, we got a little bit of time. So let's go back to creative fabric y'all. And let's see what they have for heart clip art or swing. Let's see. let's see if they got a swing or swing. Let's see what they got. Or front porch swings, yeah. Sweet tea and porch swing, no, no graph. Well, they got this graphic. They got these graphics. Let's see. Not very much for porch swing, and I don't really like those. We we want something pretty. Um, let's see. I like. Let's see. What do I have out there? I like gardenias. I like. Um, what are the name of those things? Um, mm, I was just talking about them today. Gardenias are white though. Um, and I wanted to go with the red. He wants azaleas out there. But what is the name? Hyacinth. I don't think it's hyacinth. Hydrangea. I like hydrangeas. I love roses. And because my front door is red, I don't know. Should it be too would it be too much red to put the roses on there? We need to figure something out. This is a spring background. So let's see. Any of those? They look that's kind of pretty. I guess. Eve just say pull up. I know, right? Shut up now. I want to build a swing. Oh, I love building my swing. That was a lot of fun. Just say pull up. Just say pull up. That's cute. <laughs> we or just say swing by. Um. 
Okay, y'all. Let's see Rose's background. Ooh, I see some really pretty. Oh, y'all, that's pretty. Those are pretty. But it's got um, your text here. I don't want that. I want to put my own text. And I don't want it to be too... I don't want it to take away from my client. But then... Let's see. Because, see, that's too much. And then my, my writing is red. Camellias. I love camellias. Love camellias. I want a camellia bush. Another one. I used to have one at my old house. My next door neighbors had one. My camellia bush was, um, ooh, that's pretty. My camellia bush was peppermint. It was like, it would do red and white flowers. The same flower bud was red and white. And I absolutely loved it. And they bulldozed my thing. But it, it you know, I had moved and I couldn't take the bush with me. So they they bulldozed it. Hurt my feelings. All right, y'all. So let's see. Let's see if they have a camellias thing. Um, they're kind of pretty. Camellia flower clip art. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. That looks just like a camellia. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm downloading this one. I absolutely love that. Okay, Vanessa Parnell. Yeah, because if I don't go ahead and just grab this instead of you know keeping on and scrolling, I will scroll for hours and will never ever 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 get finished with this live stream ever. There's a quote front porch swing and sweet tea. I saw that. I just passed by that one earlier. It was on a t-shirt. It was on a t-shirt. So, yeah. Uh, so many options when I was trying to come up with an option and there weren't any. <laughs> but at least there are options now. Okay, so it's downloading now. We're going to grab a cup. Like, I love that one. And I love these. These, like, all of these. These are pretty. I like all of them. I like that too, actually. But that one looks, I mean, if that was red, that would look exactly like my camellia bush, like to a T. They were so perfect and just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I think I'm going to get me a camellia bush. I'm going to find me one tomorrow. <sighs> but anyways, okay. So this is almost done. And when it's done, we're going to put some camellias over here on the side. Um, now my wall where this is going is gray. So I kind of don't want this white back here. Um, so let's change the fill color to something a little bit more. I don't want to do gray either per se. Um, I wish I could find like a wood, like a, let's see. Like a 10. Let's see. Let's see what that looks like. I don't want it to look horrible. Oh no, 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 no. So let's stick back with this. Let's like off white. Let's see. Let's go back with the red. No, let's actually go more with the blue. Because it's like a bluish gray that I have in there. Let's go there. Yeah, that works. Shawty swing my way. Huh? Hilarious. And what's funny, my kids, my dad um, raised me on this song. So just the swinging. I'm trying to think of who sings it. Um, or is it? There's a little girl in my neighborhood. Her name is Charlotte Johnson, and she's really looking good. That's my, um. we were raised off of that. So she was like, you ought to put just the swinging. And I'm like, eh, I don't know that anybody would catch that reference. <laughs> I don't know that anybody would catch that reference. So I don't know if that would work or not. And she was like, um, it don't matter. It's our reference. We would know. And I'm like, girl, you a mess. So 
There we go. All right, so let us close this out. I have my flowers, so let's minimize that. And let's file and let us place embedded a wood background. That's what I was going to do because my floor is like um, hardwood. But for me to match that floor, it just, I don't know if I'll be able to pull that off or not. I'm going to play with this. Oh, here's my port swing, y'all. Here's the actual port swing. Let me see. That's it. That's the port swing I built. So, really, really hard. It's a little bit dirty, but in this picture. But, yep, that's me port swing. And it's time to change out my pillows. I want some pillows, you know, similar, but I'm going to add some bling to them next time. Like a couple of little divots of bling. All right. So, I like. I love this. You know what? Screw it. Should I go with that? Because this technically looks like what I want, even though it doesn't really match. <clears throat> Decisions. Okay. So let's shrink this song. And nope, I want it to do like this. I wonder, can I do that? Nope, it's telling me it is saving my um, aspect ratio. That's kind of pretty anyways, even though it's not quite the way I want it to be. Let's see. Oh, sorry. I can't see the chat at all. Whoops. That's not what I wanted either. Hey, Navit. Shift my font. Well, I was going to put flower over here too. So let's let's put the flower first and then we'll finish up um, arranging everything just so. Because I'm going to put this one. That's like a different red almost. Where should I put this one? Hold on. Let's go to this one. And move. Come on. Oh, my God. Why did it grab both? It wasn't supposed to grab both. It was supposed to grab one. Let's go here. Let's go here. Hold on. Uh, can't remember how to make it center where I know it's centered. It's annoying me right now. Okay. All right, friends, swing by here. All right. And now where's the other one? I've lost you. I lost you, my flower. Where are you? Hilarious. There you are. Well, hello there, little flower. You know what? Nah. Let's do this. Um, boop. I'm going to add another one of you because I want the, the color to be just so. But at the same time, what I'm going to do with you is I am going to rotate you. Am I going to rotate you? No. I know what I wanted to do, but I can't. It's a... Uh, Crap. Hold on. I know what I wanted to do. But my brain just kind of like eliminated what I said I was going to do. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. I'm trying to be uh, creative and it's, it's, it's not working properly. Um, first of all, I kind of wanted to I don't know what you think. Rotate the other side. See, that's what I was trying to. It ain't. Uh, okay. Let's do that. Then. Let's flip it. Thank you. That was not the word I was trying to word, say, but there we go. Flip vertical. Oh, no. Wrong thing. Actually, 
that's kind of sort of what I was trying to do, but I was going to do it like that and then angle it back in. But I don't know. Would that be cute? Hold on. Let me see if that'll be cute. If it won't, I'm going to put it back. Rotate. Rotate. Or is that like tragic looking? You know what I'm saying? Is that tragic? That was tragic. Okay. Hilarious. Y'all said flip the other flower. Mirror the one on the left. <laughs> like that. And have them angling in together. Looking super cute. That is cute. See, now it looks off-center. Is it off-center to me or no? Grab the right side of the square and pull it completely to the left. What do you mean right side of the square? Perfect. Oh, okay. It don't look off-center to y'all. It look off-center to me. Okay. All right. So... Let us print and see. Okay, so this is the sawgrass again. And so help me, I don't forget what I did. Okay, so let's cancel that because we saved it, exported it as a PDF. No, we saved it as a PDF. Save with my computer, Photoshop PDF, and and we want it to be on my desktop so that I can find it easily. Never mind, I did it a different way. Okay, my bad. Um, all right, and so that is that. And I'm going to save this so that I can close it out, actually. So we're going to save as Photoshop. No, that's not what I want. I want actual Photoshop. Okay. All right. So that I can come back to it and not have so much stuff open at one time because it was slowing down my printer. Okay, so here's Adobe. Can you can you come on, bro? Turn. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's try that again. Let us do Adobe. Thank you. Open it up, and we are going to open desktop. Family swing by. We're going to open that. That's super cute. Why is there a white at the top of my letters, y'all? What in the heck did I do? And it's white right there, too. You see that? What in the world did I just do? Somebody who is a Photoshop, whatever, let me know what I did. The left flower can come in a bit. I don't want it to look what's the face either though so let me check and see left one if i come in it won't the flower thingy won't be cut off it looks off center but anyway so let me do control plus and see why it was showing see i do see that white up there oh no did it save the whole darn thing yeah it did I don't know why I did that. I don't have my layers anymore. Your text is not centered. That's what I was trying to say, Vanessa. I don't know how to center it. And now I can't, um, what's a face it? Open erase it. It's not opening as a What's a face now where I can edit it? And that's why I saved it as a PSD. Oh, okay. All right. So you're in your layer tab, drag your family and friend font to the top. I can't do anything at this point because I've messed it up. I've done something incorrect. So I'll fight with that and redo it later. But for now, I'm just going to print it the way it is because I'm annoyed at this point. All right, and so let's go to print. 
And this is tiled again poster. And look at that. You can actually see the white text. Need. I know it needs to shift, uh, Leela. I don't. Okay. I don't have time to redo it, but with you guys, unless y'all just want to hang out, I'm going to redo it. This is, this is going to take me off because I know what I was looking at and I know why it wasn't. That is the wrong thing I just opened. Hold on. Sorry. I opened up Premiere Pro. I'm bad about doing that. Close Premiere Pro. I'm using up all the memory on my dang computer. All right. I need to know why that didn't open up with layers. That ticks me off, y'all. Okay, so do it again. It should be easier to do this time. I'm not going to worry about the background color now. So what do we say? Swings right here. Ugh. All right, so that saved somewhat properly. Thank you. Now that's centered. And now we're going to do this one, and we're going to type family and friends. And then I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to turn this one to country. And we're going to turn that color to black. And we are going to move this down. And this is the part that, there we go, family and friends swing right here. Now, that's pretty dang big. I don't remember it being that big. Let's drop this down to 180. All right, and we're going to move it again. That's much better. And I'm going to move this one to the back because I want the swings by here on the front. And now I'm going to grab and place my flowers. Take the S out of swings. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I sure did have that out of there. Thank you. Uh, Nakomi, thank you very much. See, now my, this is the part that I'm not sure why it won't let me, uh, what's the face? That's annoying. My, my center thingy goes away. Place embedded. Let's go to downloads. Let's go to flowers. Let's go to you. I'm going to place one of you and we're going to shrink you and we're going to actually make you a little bit bigger a little bit bigger let's see what that looks like is that too much yeah i don't think so all right and so we're going to place another it's like that one probably should have let's see Yep, roughly about the same size. And we are going to flip you, boom, like that. And that looks much better. That looks much, 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 much better. Even though the color, the background color, isn't quite what I want it to be, but it looks better. I want you to come up. See, there's my center line. Why wasn't it there before? But it looks fairly centered. So, all right. Save the file first before saving as a PDF. So, let's save. Save on my computer. 
I'm gonna name it something else. Family and friends. Bring the left flower down a bit. This one. Oh yeah, it is up higher, isn't it? Uh, there we go. And in a little bit, almost it looks. But as you can see, more of the leaf here. Check the border. Check the border. What do you mean, check the border? How do I check the border? I don't know. Double click shows cut off. I, I don't know what you mean. I'm unfamiliar with a lot of ah, cuss. My what's the face just cut off. Um oh you mean double click here on the picture? Double click isn't doing anything. You talking about like that, how the flower is cut off? Cause I want the, I want the, I didn't want the, I didn't want the entire flower to be on there like that. I did want it kind of like cut off a little bit. Is that what you talking about? Let me go check my um, heat press and make sure it didn't cut off on me. Yeah, it did. Family and friends. Double click on family. Oh, is that what you're saying? How this is, it's, what, what? So how does that work? I have no earthly clue how that works. So what did I move because I moved it? See, you see what I'm saying, y'all? You got to learn stuff from people. Why is it cut off? I don't, I have no earthly clue why it's cut off. I know enough to fool with Photoshop. I just don't, I'm not a master at it. That's cool to find out though, because I'm going to tell you, that's not the first time that's happened. And I was, I have no idea how to fix that. No earthly clue how to fix that. Um, go to page settings. Um, are you talking about like preferences setting? My Arbens? I don't know what my Arbens is. Is there a, a border on there? Not that I know of. Um, let's go window. No. View. Print size, make sure something. Proof colors. Margins. Oh. I caught myself trying. <laughs> right? Trying to click on my screen. I understand, girl. Especially when you're trying to talk to somebody and get them to figure stuff out. My bad my bad canvas size canvas extension color i don't i don't know y'all i'm just like i'm a new newbie when it comes to this stuff purge define pattern presets sign profile color settings menus preferences interface workspace blah 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 general I keep clicking until I find crap. 
Look over there on the gray side. Um, workspace. I'm going to be here all day trying to fool with this dumb thing. Hey, Camilla. Epson F570. Holler. Congratulations. Woo. Yes, honey. Congratulations on your new printer. That's a big deal. Where the color chart is. Adjustments. Um, Let's see. Threshold, post rise, invert, selective color, curves, levels, libraries. I know that ain't it. Okay. So down here, this is pixel layers. Um, this is adjustment layers, tight layers, um, shape layers, smart objects. And I have no clue what this is. It's cutting that on and off. Um, lock. None of this is working. Oh, let's try this. Okay, so nope, that didn't work. That made it worse. Background, it's locked. What is this? Prevent auto nesting. I don't want to prevent nothing. I'll do what the heck I want to do. I'm going to say lock position. Something transparent pixels. Lock transparent pixels. She says margins. Hold on. Let's let's just do this. Help. Let's go to go to help. Photoshop help. Let's go to margins. M-A-R-G-I-N-S. How do I hide the bleed margin of the document margin? Align objects with guides. Um, vertical type tool margins, maybe. Tools and features, no. Margins, I, it's align objects with guides. I mean, 755, see, so Vanessa's saying margins, so I don't know. What's happening is because in my other image, see how the tops of my letters are not, they're cut, the black is cut off. So in my other do flatchy, my other one I just did, the top was white. It wasn't black. The whole letters are supposed to be black. So apparently it's outside of some kind of margins or something. Top toolbar, go to edit. Top toolbar, go to edit. Transfer, then scale. But scaling it is in the, it's within this box. So why would the top be, why would the top be, you know what I'm trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. Why would it, why would it turn? Okay, I clicked it, clicked the word. Create work path, convert the shape. It may work if you make it slightly smaller since you can't find the margin. Have you tried highlight family and reduce the font of it? I can. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Let's go back down to 170. And no, see, even though I reduced it, it's still showing that the top of it is not all selected. Hey, Sonya Sealer. No, no. Okay, let's undo that. And this is off center anyway, so like now. Oh, no, that's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Dun, 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 dun. Um, so...
Read what I said. Click the words. Oh, drag it all the way up. Click the, oh, 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 oh. I hear you. My bad. Okay, so I drug it all the way up, but it's it's still like that. So let's drag it to here. Nope, still, still doing it, babe. I don't know what's going on, but I do have it to the top. Is that what you were saying? Take the top and pull it up. Mm -hmm. Frame tool? No. Click layers tab. Carmen, call me. Kawana, don't double click. I, I, oh, I hear what you're saying. You're like, don't. I don't know what I'm doing. Carmen, I can call you. Is that okay? Because I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know. What did I do? Earlier, I did this. Here's a set font size, set leading. Hello. I cannot see and I'm gonna figure out this. Yeah. Yes. I shouldn't have a border. Yeah, I didn't put one anyways. Unless, you know, like there's an automatic print border or something. You know what I'm saying? What do they call that? Uh, margins. Like if the margins are off. Good night, Clara Thomas Bradley. Uh, I made it. You talking about this this size? Yeah, I made it. All I did was, so I'm going to do it again. I went to file. I went to new. I did custom 19 by four and a half um, advanced options. Let's see. It does, and it's showing that um, my, it's cut off anyways, because of course it's got the sawgrass. So it's only going to show the eight and a half by 11. No. Okay, we're going to try it and see. We gon' try, we gon' try, we gon' try and see. Try with a different font to see if it's the font. Um, hold on, let's see. Save as, save on your computer. I'm gonna save it as a Photoshop, family and friends. Hopefully it doesn't work. I don't want it there, I want it there. And I'm going to save it there. Setting you choose, okay, whatever. I don't even care anymore, so I'm just going to click that. All right, and now I'm going to try with, what's the name of this fool thing? Acrobat. Acrobat. I know, right? That's that's to the point I'm at. Uh, family and friends. Where is he going? Um, Adobe Acrobat document. Uh, oh, shoot. I don't know which one is which. 
I think I did. Hold on. Let me see. Crap. Family and friends. Okay. Yeah, see, it's cut off. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't, do not know why it's doing that. You will have to start Photoshop after changing the setting. There's a setting on preference, performance, select options, legacy, legacy composting. Uh, let me close this out. What did you say? Preferences. Huh? Child, you know it's always got something to get on my darn nerves, especially if I'm live. Select options, legacy, compose. Oh, right here. Legacy composting has been removed. So how would I put it back? <laughs> Let's see. Legacy composting. Oh my God. Legacy composting checkbox is no longer in available in performance preferences. So I'm screwed. That setting is not there. Performance is not there. Okay. So I'm going to show y'all what I normally do when stuff gets on my nerves to this point. We finished the Google this mess. Why is my Font cut off in Photoshop. Photoshop update is cutting off text in a text box. PDF text is getting cut off. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Boy, I tell you that Google is something else, y'all. Yup, it lets me know I ain't the only one. <laughs> Out here suffering when I was troubleshooting. Hopefully, someone will have an easy fix. Amanda, thank you, Amanda, for asking a question. I hope you tune in some kind of way and see this. That girl, you rock for posting a question. Okay, is it substituting fonts? It may be substituting blah blah blah. It's been a long-standing issue with Photoshop and Acrobat. In my experience, the first character in the last line it always seems blah, blah blah. Do a soft return? No. Okay, love you. Thank you, babe. Okay, bye. When you save a PDF, make sure it's supporting the fonts. Photoshop is trying to handle it better. All right, y'all. So it is the font. It's got to be the font. Because this is on the Adobe so, uh, support community. So it's my flipping font. Photoshop is cutting off the corners of my text. Pixels all text and shapes. Parts of it being cut off. person put a picture that's how it's supposed to look oh no this is different one minute couple of thoughts what blend mode is the type layer do you have any options or when say the pdf file can do this it might be useful to see your layer structure with the layer type selected please show it type face the l is being cut off photoshop um, just try, I'm news. I mean, it's a rare, 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 rare. This is rare. The only thing in the character panel, my puzzle ligatures are turned on. Um, okay, so because Photoshop. Go into Adobe. Go to Crop Tool and look at top. Crop Tool. Here's the top. Let me try that. I don't care. Um, Let's save it as. Save on the computer. Family and friends. PDF. Let's save it. Yeah, it already exists. Who cares? Leave me alone. Okay, say PDF. You know what? You get on my nerves. All right, so let's try it again. 
Um, and we're going to open family and friends. Let's open it, and it's still cut off. So, because Adobe is out here playing games with my emotions, I'm not going to worry about it. So, this is what we fenced to do. We fenced to export this. I'm going to export this as a PNG. Right? Right. So, what I'm fixed that left before saving, I don't even care at this point because only in friends, and we're gonna try it with um my good friend and um what's the face? Where are you? Publisher. So we're gonna try publisher because I know publisher. There we go. All right, so let's go new, we'll create new size. And we said it was 18, I'm gonna do 18.5 by 4.5. Just add just that little bit. We're gonna create that, right? Cause it's more than one way to skin something that needs to be skinned and that's not cats. All right, so we're gonna insert, we're gonna insert this picture and we're gonna go to desktop. Is that where it is? Yes. And we're gonna insert. See, it, it's here properly. So that's good. Oh, there's margins. Hold on, page design margins. Let's do no margins, right? And so we're going to stretch this sucker out to what I want it to be. Just about, all right. There we go. Hopefully that's not. Let's crop this actually so that I can make sure. Now see, I know I know my um I know my publisher now. Me and publisher have been rocking hard since the old nines or whatever you want to call it. Where's my crop? Come on. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, so let me make sure. Oh, what I got going on. Okay, so this is off center to this, I think. Yeah. All right, so. Now, what I'm going to do is print, and we're going to print it tiled, right? And we're going to make this landscape, right? More than one way to skin a flipping cat. Do you hear me? All right. And so now I'm going to print this with the Sawgrass Print Manager. Hopefully that will not get on my nerves. All right. So I hit print with the Sawgrass Print Manager. So the Sawgrass Print Manager popped up, right? It already has mirrors, so it's going to mirror it for, for me. It's already got it landscaped the way I want it to do. So heifers, we fenced to print this, and it's going to get off my nerves. Do you understand what I'm saying right now? All right. So I sent it to the printer. Here is the first one. Let me stop sharing screen. And it's printing over there. I can hear it. It's beautiful. This turned out absolutely great. It is completely cooled off. Let us go ahead and take these apart. And the printer, I went ahead and turned it back on. So... We will have a hot printer. 
Okay, so here is my sign. Y'all, that was like pulling teeth. Oh my God. Adobe, I'm gonna need y'all to do better. Instead of making things complicated, it's a complicated order. Here's my sign. And I didn't even get to show you how to do the resin with the darn thing yet. OMG. All right. So let us switch to our correct. Watch it be the wrong one. I knew it was going to be the wrong one. Switch to the camera. All right. And we're going to slide y'all where I can read y'all. All right. And here is the mirrored printout. Okay. So because it is white and I couldn't get my background color, it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to line this up, but I'm going to try. Okay. So what I'm going to do is um, trim first and foremost so that I can layer these the way they're supposed to be. All right. And get this not crooked, even though in a way it don't matter now that I think about it because it is uh, what's the face? Okay. So, let's move this. And did that do right? That did not do right. Look at that. Swing by. That's supposed to be bigger. So it's still on my nerves a little bit, but I'm going to have to uh, figure that out. Hold on, y'all. I thought I had it. I was almost there. It's just the margins because I don't have print margins. I think that's what's wrong. I don't have the print margins up, but look, it will fit. That's the good thing. Actually, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit wider than that, but at least it covers it, right? So let me go back to my drawing board with my, uh, what's the name of this program again? Um, what's a face? Can I see? I can't see that way over there. Hold on. Uh, sure, sure, sure screen, sure that, sure that. All right. So let's see what we did wrong. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to insert where are you? Margins. No, page design. Duh. Okay. So we've got narrow page margins which are covered up now. Right? Because there are going to be margins with, but that's going to change my size. So, right? Yep. We'll change my size. It's going to make me want to fight somebody. Okay. Okay. So here are my page margins. I don't know that it gives me the option to overlap. So that's what we're getting ready to find out. So here's tiled and notice there's the gap there. So I need to see. There we go. Shut up. Come through. So doggy come through. Never had to do this ever. All right. So Let's do, it's horizontal, right? Horizontal overlap. Yep. What? What? Look at that. Look at that. Do you hear me? So, doggy, you the MVP today. Let, let me show you your comment. You the MVP right now. Thank you, so doggy. Now, that's probably too big. But I'm going to go with it because, again, it's getting on my nerves. So let's print it again. We're going to still use the print manager because the print manager is like the real deal. Holy field. I'm going to print it again. All right. So doggy, you a real one. We, we appreciate you. So doggy, we appreciate you. All right. So we're printing it again and we're going to go back over there. And now we're going to trim i wish i had a um put like a border but i'm gonna tell you why i didn't put a border is because every time i put a border the darn thing prints the lines i, I end up not cutting off enough of the border and it's a royal pain all right so 
and make sure my heat press is still good and hot and it is and we're going to go ahead and trim this one while the other print out is printed i'm going to make sure it's straight this time so that my ruler will definitely be straight All right. All right. So let's try this again. Look at that. Look at so doggy O M G. Look at look look. Look at the level of near perfection we got going on right here you do you see this all right so probably should have brought in the overlap a little bit more but at this point i'm over it and i'm pretty much going to be the only one that's going to know what went wrong let me move this because it shouldn't let me see Okay, yeah, it's out of the way. I don't want because sometimes I've been hearing that um, this tape leaves stains on some folks' stuff, and I'll be darned. Okay, so I am not even, which I know is going to be a mistake. Bring that down. All right, let me do this. Oh, crap. Let me do this. And let me do this. Just to be sure that this is straight and as you see it's not so i'm going to straighten this to there and we finished to take this down <laughs> we gonna press it ready or not all right and y'all know it's just a matter of trying out new things seeing how new things go and then when we're done with this i'm going to show you the um how to use the resin which is sublimation stuff because that's actually um a, one of the coolest things that i saw 755 do with resin and i was like bro that's really cool okay so i have it taped down and i'm gonna hold it up to the light just to reconfirm to myself how it's sat onto the thing and that actually looks pretty good it's a smidge higher than but it, it's gonna look great so and again shout out to um heat press heat transfer warehouse because the heifer has a 16 by 20 now wait a minute can you see that Hold on. nope i took it off the screen let's stop sharing and let's bring Tilly back up. Okay. So we have, you know, 16 by 20. So I can actually put this on my heat press. Whereas before it was 15 by 15. You know, this is 18 inches long. I wouldn't have been able to do it. So that's cool. Tilly is out here doing big things. Okay. All right. So let's grab another couple of pieces of butcher paper. And we're going to press. All right, roll that back in and drop. And I'm going to do the same. Whoa, that ain't all the way in. I'm going to do the same time that I did before, which is roughly about 40, 45 seconds. I think it was 40. Uh, so I'm going to let that press. And I'm probably going to uh, let it press a smidge longer. I'm like going to ignore 
I'm going to ignore the timer. I'm going to hold it down. It might mess up something. I hope not, but I'm going to hold it anyway. Because the heat, a lot of times, we, we generally press for about 60 seconds. So I'm going to go just a smidge longer than 40. So we're going to hit more at like 45. But I'm going to hold it. All right. There we go. All right. So now let's take this off. I'm going to take this off. And I got an exhaust system in here to suck some of that sublimation smell out. What is blocking my tray? There we go. All right. And let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this whole thing was annoying. I, I can't even I can't even lie about how annoying that was. Let's let's change this, y'all. Oh my god. How do I change this? No, that's not how I want to change it. No. You wouldn't have been able to hear me. That sucks. All right. There we go. All right. Look, it was annoying. No, no kidding at all whatsoever because it was, it was acting up. But actually, you know, I'm going to leave that on because I'm going to do the rest after I get off. Look at this. This is just absolutely beautiful at how it printed. Look at that. Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh no, it ghosted a little bit in the middle with the B where it was, it was what's a face, but oh my gosh, it's still look, it's so pretty. With the exception of that, it was almost perfect, y'all. Look at that. Look how vivid that is. I didn't have to change anything with colors. None of that. But look, it smudged right there with the B. And this, the way this is going to work, can you see that? No, you can't see that. The way, the way this is going to go up on the wall is this over the top of us like that. Like this picture over the top and then all the other family and friends all the way around. And the grandbabies, I even have pictures of just the grandbabies by themselves on the porch swing too. So absolutely love this. I'm going to have to work on that because it was uh, spliced together. It allowed, you can see where the air, it allowed it to, um, I didn't tape it down good enough, I don't think. But it's, it's per I love it. I, I appreciate y'all's help with the flowers and getting the flowers arranged on there. And I appreciate y'all's, um, you know, just hanging out with me today, even though today wasn't like my best of all days of all time type situation but it was fun and at the end of the day that's what I like to do is I like to have fun so real quick I'm going to move this camera so that I can show you the other part to this whole process that you know I actually thought was super cool um, let me go grab our picture so I can show you better Ooh, that heated back up quick. All right. So, really quick, let me. Camera settings. Let's go to this one. Okay. So, there we go. 
All right, and uh, actually, let's do this one. Boop. So let me show you the other part, okay? Right here. And I'm gonna see if I can't get you closer because we were working on um, tumblers the other day and I had a whole ball doing tumblers. As you can see, I've even done another snow globe tumbler since then. So hopefully we'll get to show all of that after a while. Okay. So here is the other panel, right? The cool thing about resin, uh, the one of the things that I've seen people do with the, the um, hey, Aisha, top you cam. I, I don't, uh, I hooked up another camera. Um, and I stream yard, you can do two cameras. Um, you just have to pay extra or something like that. Um, but one of the things about aluminum panels, usually when people put, they, they make, um, picture aluminum panels, they generally put them in a picture frame and I'm like, you know, that's cool and all, but if I'm going to do a, a picture in a picture frame, I'm just going to do a regular picture and do a regular picture frame. Yeah, that's my opinion. But in this, I want just the aluminum panel up on the wall. So what I did was I went on to Amazon and grabbed this pack of um, picture hanging findings, right? And it was pretty inexpensive. I'll go back after the video and link that in the description below. Um, but what i want to do is add a way to hang this um now you can because it's so light you can use those command hooks with the velcro you definitely can do that but you also can use resin so here's the alligator um teeth that you normally would use the little nails and hammer them into the back of the uh wood for a picture frame but i don't have that capability because this is aluminum so what I'm going to do is all I'm going to do is attach this with UV resin, right? So the best uni, her UV resin, as I showed you, um, is right here. But she also has these little teeny super cute needle bottles of resin. And you can use these for repairing things and all that cool stuff. But what I'm going to use it for is to attach these this alligator teeth to this frame. It's just as simple as that. So I'm going to go ahead and put a drop where I would normally put the um, where I would normally put the what's the name of this thing? Nail. All right, I'm just going to put a drop there and I'm probably going to put a drop, you know, up here. It doesn't matter. You can it, just reinforce it. You can reinforce it, but it needs to be over the top of the alligator clip because anything under the alligator clip the light can't get to it okay so you could there's a couple of ways you can do it you can put a some drops of resin and then cure it and then add the alligator clip because what that will do is give you a little sliver of space between the clip and the thing where you can shine the light up under it and get that thing cured, but we're just going to cure this right here on top of this aluminum. And then what that'll do is that'll give you your clip and you can hang it on the wall. You also can use a nail light, which is what I have here. And you can use a nail light to cure it as well. It's a lot brighter, as you see, than my um, little flashlight. I normally cure my resin with, with that light, mainly because it has a timer on it. And I don't have to think super hard or whatever. But after you cure it for a little bit, let's cut that off. After you cure it for a little bit, look. Now I have a way to hang 
my picture and I didn't have to hammer or anything. And look, that is not coming. I said it wasn't coming off, but it's wet up under there. Look, I made a big boo-boo. I was not supposed to do that. Hold on. It wasn't coming off until I decided to manhandle it. Okay. So I'm going to do what I said earlier to make sure that this sucker stays on. Hold on. I'll make sure it's not coming off. Boop, and then it comes off. It's just like infomercials, right? Okay. okay. So let's do it this way. We're going to add some glue down. Not glue. Resin. Right? Because the thing is, the resin can only cure and work when it has light. If it can't get that UV light to it, then it's not going to cure and it's not going to work. The light has to be able to penetrate. Okay? So we just put that light that on there. So now that's cured. That's hard as a rock. I didn't have to worry about anything under it or whatever, right? So now let's put this back on. And because we have some space now under there, light can actually reach under there at this point. So I'm going to put a little bit more right here, a little bit more right there. And this time we're going to tilt it after we cure it for a sec. We're going to tilt it so that the light can get in that little sliver of space between the clip and the aluminum where we put that buffer, that little layer of resin, right? So now let me go from up here and get it to shine up in under that clip. So what you're trying to do is get light to that resin, that UV light, trying to get it up in there as close and as much as possible so that it can cure and harden. Because once that resin gets hard, it's a brick. I don't have to rough the area up for the resin to hold on. And there we got our clip now. So... Now that's on there. It's crooked because I'm going to redo this one because it has that strip right there. But just to show you how easy it is to get a, you that use that UV resin for more than just making cool projects and stuff. Because like I showed you guys, um, I use the resin to do this water bottle. I made a snow globe water bottle and in order to get the water and the snow globe stuff down in here, I had to drill a hole in it and fill it up with the water and the glitter and stuff. Well, that hole, I clogged it up and, and covered it with resin. So now this, this is permanent. It's a permanent water bottle with glitter in it. And I did the same with this one, but I haven't resined the bottom of my uh, tumbler yet. So it still has a regular glue dot. That's why you can see there's water on there because this is just a regular glue dot. That's not the resin yet because I wanted to make sure I got all the air out of it. So I wanted to sit for a couple of days. But anyway, that's a different project. All right, you guys. So that's it. That's all I wanted to show. Um... That's all I wanted to talk about. For those who may have come in late, there's a new newsletter. Check out the community tab here on YouTube to find the information for the new newsletter. Um, because in the new newsletter, it'll show you our new website. So we have a new website for the Rhinestone buy-in. It's not the same as before. If you try to pull up the old website, it won't be there anymore. I've deleted it. Um, I'm sorry, the old web address for the stone store. It was the baby's booty slash stone store. It's not that anymore. Now it's just the baby's booty dot store. Okay. So that's where our new storefront is for you to purchase, uh, during the buy-in and the buy-in is in another week. It's in another week y'all. So I'm looking forward to it. We got stones trickling in so far. Hopefully it'll be soon. Um, now I do want to say that, um, and that's in the newsletter as well. We have been, you know, trying to make sure that our presentation is on point with a lot of things and the replacement containers. We've been waiting on our 
uh, labels to go on the lids um, so that when you get your um, container, your ice boxes for your rhinestones, your ice boxes are all uniform. They have the baby's booty on the lid, McQuacken's on the bottom, and your color on the the uh, for your stones or a blank one if you order a blank one, which we haven't posted them because we haven't had our next order of foil for the lids hasn't come in yet. And I did not realize it. She warned me ahead of time that things were starting to get bad in her area because all of the foil people that I've reached out to to have foil labels made were overseas. It's crazy. I'm like, why is there no one in the U.S. making foil? Um, if you know of somebody making foil in the U.S., let me know because I couldn't find anybody. They have websites and the websites look American, but once you communicate with them, you find out really quickly that they're actually shipping from China. They're not coming from here. So, and that was a good four or five options that I investigated. Um, and all of them were overseas. So I just kind of like gave up at one point. But at any rate, Shanghai is shut all the way down, like completely shut down. So my foil labels, although I ordered them a couple of weeks ago, they're not even on the way because they're shut down. They can't even send them if they've even had an opportunity to produce them. So that being the case, um, I'm going to have to just go ahead and send out the replacement ice boxes and or lids if anybody had any broken lids. Um, and then this next buy-in order, I, I won't be able to put the foil on the lid, which kind of is a bummer a little bit, but I would much rather people be safe than for me to be frustrated and upset because I don't have a name on a lid. At the end of the day, you just need some beautiful boxes to put your stones in. And that's the end goal. So even if there's a little bit of, you know, uh, branding missing, you still got McQuackens on there because um, he's there. Our, our other UV stickers came in, but it's just the foil ones that didn't. So, um, but just neither here nor there, you'll still get your stones. You'll still get your replacement containers. Um, we just kind of was holding off on the replacements until we got that and they're not coming, not right now. And we don't know when Shanghai is going to reopen. So, but at any rate, I just wanted to update you guys on that, on the website. Um, and to ultimately thank you for being a part of our baby's booty community and hanging out with us tonight. Even with all the craziness that's going on, I'm going to work on my sign again and perfect it. And then, uh, once we get it right, I'll post a picture of the final wall. So hope you guys have a good evening. I'm getting ready to go in here and check on Mr. McQuackens, who has now awakened from his nap. Um, I woke up before him. And so we'll go from there and see how you guys uh, enjoy the show. So appreciate you guys. And I hope you all have a great night. Yeah, Trish, Mickey, um, I wish I had. I do, even though this one is messed up a little bit but here is the foil that i was talking about the e is kind of messed up on here because each letter is separate the foil label these are all separate letters kind of like if you were to cut it out on the um like silhouette or whatever but you these are foil like legit foil labels um and these are purple foil and i just without it being like this is a clear sticker i don't know can you see that see how this is a clear square sticker with the label of the stones and the size and all of that stuff that's a clear printed sticker this is not this is not a sticker this is just a foil now i know i can get foil clear label stickers for this but that's not what i wanted i wanted the actual foil let label this is a this is a peel and stick i don't know how to explain it but just like you do a transfer for any vinyl you transfer these onto here and it you peel off the carrier sheet and the the letters and stuff remain behind but it's legit foil electro plated foil at that so um, you know, kind of some sort of high, we we tried to go kind of high end to make it look really, really elegant, and it worked. It was absolutely beautiful. Whenever the ease, you know, cooperate, 
because this E didn't cooperate, but there's no worries. And it, it doesn't like it's a struggle to get it off. So it ain't like I can fix it. But um, but the thing is, is trying to get those labels again. And I have not found them in the U.S. I just haven't. So. But at any rate, you guys have a great night. I'm going to get off and um, play with my sublimation some more. Now that I've figured out publisher is the better route to go. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Bye.